Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you with a weekly video. I missed last week, I apologize about that, but I was feeling really under the weather and could barely get a couple words out without coughing. So, you know, I just skipped her. Uh, it's been like the first time I've ever skipped one in a really long time, so... You know, sorry about that, but sometimes it's got to happen. We're going to try to make it through this one. I'm actually not fully recovered because I still got some nasal stuff going on. Whatever. Stuff you don't care about. Just a really nasty cold. All right. So, I got some stuff to show you. This is exactly the stuff I was going to show last week. And I still had it laying here on the table. And we're just going to get right into it. So, <clears throat> I got some Mini GT. So we'll start looking at that. We've got uh, Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo. In green. Looks pretty wild. Excited to look at that. We've got a Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo in... What was it? Silver? Yeah, silver. And so that's going to be cool. And then we got uh, another Lamborghini. We've got a Lamborghini Huracan GT. Liberty Walk. LB Works. Very neat. And then we got uh, Hyundai Elantra N in cyber gray metallic right there. So we'll take a peek at that. And then we got another one, Elantra Stratus, a Stradale. I'm excited for that one. That's a brand new tooling. I haven't seen this one yet. And another brand new tooling um, is the Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus in matte black so got those mini gts very very cool um lots of cool content i'm sure coming on youtube from lamley because i mean he's at the uh co convention right uh i would love to go to the one in la just it's a lot of a lot of money to go there and trip and away from the kids and all that good stuff but it would be fun to go to that someday i don't know why i'm even talking about it but i got a hot wheels hat on that's cool right and i do have a couple hot wheels to show but nothing special, <clears throat> just the mainline stuff, just a couple of items. Got a Lotus, uh, I don't even remember when I found these. I think these are G-Case cars. Lotus Sport Elise. So I'm sure you guys will be watching a lot of YouTube content, all the sneaks that are coming out of the convention, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, Porsche 935. So again, just some basic stuff from G-Case. Got a custom 70 Honda N600. Looks a lot like a Mini Cooper, doesn't it? <clears throat> and then the Koenigsegg Jimra. I think I've already shown this car in like orange, maybe. It's an ugly car. I don't know why I picked it up. Bleh. But there she is. All right. And then I've got just some oddball stuff that I've been sitting on for a while. Well, actually, one thing. Well, Matchbox. I think that's fairly new. I don't know what the story with this is. It's special that it's in this packaging. Uh, this Mercedes-Benz uh, G-Wagon. I think it was just in a normal assortment just with different card art. I don't know. I don't know what the story is on that one. Someone will tell me in the comments. And then the rest of these, I got five more items, and they're all kind of random. Uh, we got two Matchbox. A Buick La Sabre. That's an interesting one. Buick La Sabre. Uh don't think I have any version of this cast like a stock car. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. That'll be kind of neat. And we got the Nissan, Nissan, Nissan Prairie. Kind of like a minivan sort of looking thing. That's pretty cool too. And then a couple of Johnny Lightning. And then we got a Dragster USA. Wild Willie Borsch. Uh, what is this? The Wild Man. Don Schumacher squares off against Barry Sensor. Oh, that's the card art. From Drakester's USA series. So we got one of those to look at. And then we got American Beauties, the 1965 Pontiac GTO. With a lovely female in the card art. Very nice. And then we get the uh, demo from the Demolition Derby series. These are sweet. 1967 Plymouth Fury 2. And that's pretty cool as well. Um, probably not going to be a shorter video, even though this half is going to be short. Because the Mini GT will kind of dive into deep, sort of. I don't know. 
That's what I got this week. I've got some more stuff coming. I've got some more mini GT coming. I found actually, I found some stuff. I was on, I had to go on a short little work trip and uh, I stopped at a hobby shop and I found some Johnny Lightning that I didn't have. That was pretty cool. And some racing champions I didn't have. So I might show that in the next week. Uh, what else do I got in here? I've got a few things planned for an episode or two and i've also got some stuff coming from japan some tomica limited vintage some regular tomica some tomica premium a bunch of a bunch of it so that should be uh fun as well so there's more cool stuff to come let's go ahead and flip the camera around and open up the stuff and we'll see along the old you know voice lasts oh one other thing i forgot uh i did start a new instagram not Diecast related, but if you want to check it out, go for it. I've been uh, shooting a lot of pictures. I got a camera. I think I mentioned it before. I bought a camera, like a legit one. I, I don't film the videos with it because it's no, there's no reason to. Um, it's a Canon 90D, kind of a prosumer uh, digital SLR. A little behind the times, or whatever. It's not mirrorless. It's not full frame. It's an APS-C sensor. You guys probably don't care about that, but whatever. I've <clears throat> been taking pictures with this and having a really good time. So I started a Instagram for my photography. If you want to check that out, go ahead. It's uh, Champ DJK Images on Instagram. So check that out if you want to. Uh, I've been shooting some pictures and having a really good time with it. Really got it for car photography, but found out I, I, I kind of like shooting landscapes. So there you go. All right, let's flip the camera on. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're going to start by looking at the Mini GT because that's going to be the highlight of the episode for me. You guys know I love this brand. Um, they're just, I know they're recoloring a lot of cars and stuff like that. I don't care. They're putting out so much cool stuff. They're, they're just like, it's constant with them. There's just so much awesome stuff coming out all the time. And they're doing some, I don't know, stuff I would have never thought anybody would really care about or do like a Honda Elantra. Hyundai, 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 like Sunday. It's like Sunday. Anyway, Hyundai like Sunday. Elantra N, I don't know about this car. I mean, it does look pretty cool, but I mean, it's it's different. It's not something, I don't know, that I would have expected coming from them. They're kind of all over the place right now. And I actually like that. Uh, some people are like, you know, whatever, it's better. Maybe they do sets and stuff like this and stuff that's more, you know, you can display them together. I like that they're doing stuff from all sorts of different genres of cars like you know you got your launch stratus you know some classic old stuff you got some uh newer stuff that's wild uh supercars they still do the hypercar stuff like the best out of anybody as far as i'm concerned and then uh, you get stuff like this <clears throat> which admittedly i don't know a lot about the car maybe it is something cool i it's a hyundai i mean i know hyundais are getting kind of neat but uh an n and I think N is like their sporty model, maybe. Well, let's look at this one first. Why not? <clears throat> so, usual, I got the international packaging stuff. Um, and just because it's accessible to me and it's less expensive than getting the Mio stuff. I just, I, I buy all this stuff. You know, I don't get sent, I get sent a few things here and there for free, obviously. And I've talked about that on the channel. But the majority of the items I get, I buy, you know. Granted, it's with, sort of like, you know, revenue money, most of it that I make off of YouTube. So it is sort of, I guess it's not free, but whatever you get what I'm trying to say. So I just love mini GT. <clears throat> I love the packaging. I love the boxes. I love their philosophy for the cars that they make. It's just, they're really good right now. I don't know. If I had to pick like top brands for me, obviously Auto World, Mini GT, and I really actually like Inno 64 as well. And of course you got your Hot Wheels Matchbox and stuff like that for your basic domestic stuff. But uh, we got a little, is it a, oh, nope. Yeah, I thought there was a paint issue there, but it was not. It was uh, black, whatever. That rubbed off. Look at the details on this thing. It looks fantastic. Never really thought at the beginning of collecting that I would have an Elantra in ultra detail in my collection, but here we are today and we got one. You can probably hear my kids in the background. As usual, they're fighting. They do that. 
you know, you think you were lucky getting a, a boy and a girl and that they wouldn't uh, constantly be at odds with each other and battling, but oh my, was I wrong. I mean, me and my little brother fought when we were kids, but uh, it is just as bad. So, anyway, here's the Elantra, and the detail's really good. You got rubber mirrors, you got uh, plastic, hard plastic spoiler, inserted taillights, detailed exhaust, which is nice, and you get the detail up front. The grill looks really cool. I'm trying to hold it as steady as possible here. So, what do you guys think of this? And, of course, it's mini GT, so it rolls. No issues there, and just is very detailed and is very cool. All right, next let's go, let's get into some Lambos. So we got the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo presentation. We got the uh, licensing details back there. 14 or older on this one. I think on all of them actually, right? Yeah, probably. I don't know, whatever. Let's open it up. 14 plus. This is wild looking, actually. This looks a lot different than I thought it was going to look based on the picture for some reason. I thought it was going to be more metallic, and it isn't. It's kind of a brighter green. I'm going to put, I put the packaging back together here, so I apologize for the delay, but with, uh, whatever, I'm going to do that. And then uh, take a look at the car. Pertamina? Pertamina? You guys, I apologize again. I normally, you know, I tell you guys all the time. And a lot of the times I don't know details about the real cars. Okay. And I apologize about that. I told you guys why I'm into collecting cars and how I just really like the art of it and uh, all that stuff. Even though the mechanical stuff really does, you know wow me as well. I like things automotive. I don't know a lot. I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to uh, cars. You know, I know somewhat to talk my way around them, but I'm not super knowledgeable. And uh, so I don't know what this presentation car is. I don't know what Pertamina is. I don't know how to pronounce it. You know, I don't know any of that stuff. So I apologize about that. I wouldn't mind knowing more about it, but honestly, I'm into a lot of things pretty deep as far as hobby is concerned, and it's hard to have time to research and do everything. It's kind of neat. It's kind of got like a like a camo effect on it, and it does look pretty good. I am digging it actually quite a bit. I'm trying to figure out, is that a painted de No, that is an inserted detail up there for the headlights. It almost looks painted, but... It there's a there's an insert there and in the back it looks like we got more of kind of a painted thing uh, going on back there but it's a cool looking Lamborghini I get pretty much every single Lamborghini that comes out in mini GT pretty much every one just because all right I like Lamborghinis yeah, whatever and next we get this one. The uh, Lamborghini Huracan GT. I think it's been a while, actually, since we've seen this tooling. This is an Arancio Borealis. Arancio Borealis. Maybe. Orange. I can tell you that. Halloween, you know. Halloween flavor. Let's go ahead and open up this. This casting is a really good one. I, I'm missing the one of these in yellow. That came out real early on when this casting came out. And man, do I regret not snagging that. Because for some reason, I think it was a Mio exclusive. And for some reason, it is an expensive one to get a hold of. But this is a sick casting. It's super cool. I mean, this the, the body kit on this thing, I think, looks amazing. It just looks so mean. The wing really does it. It just looks extremely fast. It is very cool. Orange is usually not my favorite color for a car or anything in general. Uh, but 
in this case, I think it looks pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm definitely digging this one. It looks quite good. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Which one do you like better? <clears throat> Man, is there so many different like body kit versions of like a Huracan, right? Well, this is a GT, right? GT3. And then we got the, well, this is a GT2, whatever. Anyway, different uh, variations of, of Huracan. And they've got a bunch of different ones for in Mini GT. There's a lot of Lamborghinis to collect. I would say the only other brand that you have a lot of Lamborghinis to collect is probably Hot Wheels. Uh, there's a few Matchbox as well, but mostly Hot Wheels is the brand to collect for, for Lambos. But when you get into premium, definitely Mini GT is where it's at, as far as I'm concerned. Tomic Limited Vintage has some cool ones, but they're super expensive. And honestly, the quality I don't think has been really that great, especially on the Countach for the price. But that's my opinion. Actually, I'm going to save that one for last. I think that one's going to be my favorite of the bunch, or at least the one I'm most excited for. Now, we've seen this. This is, uh, this is in its, I believe, third color it came out in blue and then it came out in yellow blue is kind of like the flagship color for this uh this thing um trying to look around to see where i got it yeah blue and yellow yellow looked pretty good i kind of liked yellow i think better than blue it's gonna be interesting here with the silver it's gonna look like pretty sharp Right off the gate, right up the gate here. Um, very complex casting, this thing is. Very complex model. They did a fantastic job of it. I don't think there's any other better version of this in 164 scale, even from like the China, uh, whatever brands. I don't even know, like the weird, there seems like there's a new China brand that like pops up every other day. <clears throat> And I don't think many of them have tried to tackle this, but I think this is a really good version of this, especially, I mean, it's, it's mini GT. These things actually don't, they're not that expensive in comparison to other uh, premium brands. Yeah, something looks a little weird in the back here, quality wise, in that fender well, it's not perfectly circular. There is a small issue right there. I wonder what's causing that. But this uh, casting does consist of a few different pieces and parts. Like uh, there's plastic bits in the back, and uh, it's kind of interesting how it's constructed. And the silver one does look pretty cool. It's got the 16 in the front. That's neat. And uh, yeah, take a look at the details. Those headlights, they just look mean. Um, the carbon fiber weave that you can see graphicked on here looks pretty good definitely better than like a printed look that you'd get from like a hot wheels even a hot wheels premium which it should look better it's just uh these things look great and again it rolls rolls fantastically i like how they put the the mirrors are a rubber part i mention it almost every time the mirrors are like rubber and that's great because you ain't going to break them off. At least it's a lot harder to do that by accidentally dropping it or, you know, putting it in some sort of storage or whatever. It just, it, they're harder to destroy. And I think that's a good thing for Mini GT. Uh, one of the things you will not get though, because of that, is you're not going to get like a reflection or a reflective sticker or anything on the back of these mirrors. And honestly, that's okay. Because a lot of times when diecast companies try to pull that off, they don't center them correctly and they just look kind of bad. They're not cut out very sharply and uh, sometimes they can look pretty awful. So it's best just not to have it if you can't do it quite right. And I'll take the rubber mirrors. So very cool. All right. New Bugatti casting. The Bugatti Shrin Super Sport 300 Plus in a very basic matte black. This is a goofy looking car on account that it's got a big rear end. Um, it just kind of looks weird proportionately. I first saw it, I didn't, I thought it looked really goofy and now I kind of like it. it. looks different, I guess. 
you know. We got some quality issues on this one, though. And I don't usually get a lot of quality issues with Mini GT. Mainly just this, we got a, uh, some sort of broken axle here. And, wow, that is really messed up, actually. Is that going to be fixable? So that's not the tire being uh, not straight on the axle or the wheel being not straight on the axle. It's literally the molding of, I'm going to end up breaking this, of the wheel itself. I'm going to try to fix it without breaking it. You see how, you know, here you can tell what's wrong. So that's it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be like flat. See, the spokes are flat here, and on this one, they're, like, pushed out. I might be able to fix it. So it's almost like when the wheel was jammed on here, and I know we're focusing on this now more than we're focusing on the actual casting, but this is going to bug me if I can't get it fixed. That's actually not bad. I think I might have fixed it. And it's not broken, which is nice. Normally, if that does happen, the axle will pop through the front of the rim. And that is obviously not fixable. There. It's not perfect, but it's way better. All right, to the car. Again, it's matte black. It's pretty basic. But it's a mean-looking Bugatti. And yeah, I would never say Bugatti is like my favorite from a styling aspect uh, when it comes to these cars, um, but I think this one looks pretty good. And it's, they're kind of growing on me stylish wise. I mean, this is just bonkers, crazy, like wild looking. But uh, this looks pretty good. They kind of have a unique look to them. The, the fact that they're bulbous and curvy and stuff instead of more like wedge shaped and, you know, more like airplane looking. These are more like jumbo jet looking. These are more like fighter aircraft looking, right? And the curves and everything. So kind of nice, actually. I don't know. They're cool. They're cool. All right. Next, we got the Lancia. Stratos HF Stradale in Rosso Arancio. Arancio? Ar Arancio? I don't know. We try. I try. Um, so, first time seeing this casting in the flesh. Uh, so, I'm excited about it. A pretty neat looking little car. So, let's go ahead and get it out and take a peek. This is left-hand drive, by the way. They make the cars, and some of them are left-hand drive and right-hand drive. I do not care which one I get. I honestly can't. I think it is kind of a neat little thing that they do, but me no really can. All right. So what do we think about this little guy? And it is little. It's a little car. And it's little in real life, so. Uh, just I'm going to do a little size comparison. Here's your Hyundai, which is by no means a very large automobile. She's tiny. It looks fun, doesn't it, though? It looks like it would be fun to try to drive. So we got one mirror, singular, on the one side. And that's it. Driver's side. Um, it looks like, did they make this with a headlights up variation? It appears that they would because of what's going on here. This is plastic. A little bit of weirdness going on with the paint on here. Not quite smooth. But my guess is they have headlights up. A headlights up very. Maybe. I don't know. Somebody will let me know. Screw together. We got inserted details for the daylights. We got exhaust detail. We got these kind of sweet looking goldish wheels. And it rolls really good. And overall, pretty cool little representation of this automobile. I like it. 
I'm not as crazy about it now that I got it out of the package. I will admit as I was before. And I think proportionately it's probably right. I mean, most mini GT stuff is. Hey, it's a cool looking little car. We'll just say that. I like it. I think it's pretty neat. The only uh, issue is I can uh, I could see this obvious um, like paint. Almost like you ran a brush through it when it was drying sort of look to this front headlight that's kind of irritating other than that quality seems to be there seems to look pretty good the wheels are pretty stellar i like those i like those wheels i think those look pretty good um yeah i'm digging it yeah it's pretty neat so anyway i love mini gt i really do i think they're doing some really cool stuff it may seem a little disjointed what they're doing because they're kind of all over the place with stuff they put out in releases. Like they put out this car and this car at the same time. There's like no like release like set. Like that's the one thing like Hot Wheels does really well is, you know, they put out car culture and it's like in a set, a themed set. Of course, Mini GT does not do that, but completely different philosophy. They just put out tons and tons of really cool stuff. And I'm a fan. All right. Next, we got a couple mainline Hot Wheels. Might as well get them out of the way, starting with this ugly thing. This is like, dude, I'm sorry. Koenigsegg, I'm sure they're cool, man. They're, they're amazing. I've said it a bunch of times, though, artistic-wise. Uh, I don't really like the way any of them really look. They just don't do it for me. Kind of spaceship-like. And, you know, and there's a way to do that, that it would be probably cool. And they kind of, this is kind of bulbous, right? But not as good looking as that. And it's not just because this is a mini GT and this is a Hot Wheels. It's literally the design of the car. I just, bleh, bleh. All right. Custom 70 Honda. And I'm not dogging the designer that made this car in a Hot Wheels, by the way. I'm talking about the actual, the actual car. I just think they're ugly. Custom 70 Honda N600, and that's just an opinion, you know, subjective, subjective, cool little Honda, this is cool, you got details where they need to be in the front and in the back, so I'm happy about that, basic wheels, I think this is a nice little casting, chrome base, I'm down with that, I'm down with it, looks good. I love this. I think this looks fantastic. I actually really like the livery on this. The color combo, I think, looks really good. That's a sick little mainline Porsche. The other thing I love about Hot Wheels is they do a lot of Porsches. And I like Porsche. Very cool. Very cool indeed. The colors are great. Paint looks cool. I just, uh, I like this model actually quite a lot for a main line. I think it looks very, very good. And then we've got the Lotus. The thing that bugs me about this Lotus, and I've mentioned it before, the wheels I always pick for this look bad. In my opinion, okay, I hate these wheels. They're the five spoke wheels. I generally don't really like these five spoke wheels. And I especially don't like them when they look like this, where like the looks like the sidewalls of the tire is like super thick, chrome lipped, and then a black. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like it. The rest of this thing is pretty nice. Got details back there and up there. Can't go wrong with that. It's just the side profile of this car with these wheels. It's just, bleh. I don't know. Bleh. So yeah, these two just don't really do it for me that much. I don't know why I picked them up, but just to talk about them and tell you I don't like them, I guess. I don't know. All right, Matchbox. Real basic. G-Wagen. Mercedes. Not much to say about this. It's blue. It's like a matte metallic. Matte metallic blue gray base 
I don't know what the story is with the card art. Somebody let me know. But this thing has no tampo action except for the spare tire cover in the back. Kind of bogus. Uh, I wish it had the front detail. That would be good. It's got the back, and that's it. Which, for Matchbox, is kind of odd. I mean, normally they do, like, a two-side thing. But this thing got special card art. I, I don't know the story behind it. Somebody, somebody tell me. Uh, a couple more Matchbox and old ones. And then we got a couple Johnny Lightnings and we're out. 77 cents for the Nissan Prairie. In a new color, silver, with the Nissan logo. I don't know. I picked this up because I thought it was cool. I mean, don't you think it's cool? We got some packaging rub on the window. You can see where that was happening in the package. So you got to open your cars, fellas. Matchbox number 31. Copyright date on this guy is... Is where? Is where on this package? I don't see it. 1992. Eh, it's cool, right? I don't think it's... It's kind of a hatchback, right? It's not really a minivan. It looks like a minivan, but I believe it's only two-row seats, yeah, and it's just a four-door. It, it looks very minivan-esque. I actually like these wheels for Matchbox, these dotted wheels. I think they look good on a lot of cars, and this one has suspension, which is pretty cool, too. Blue interior is kind of weird, but I guess it works, whatever, and this one is right-hand drive. Single rivet construction, it hooks into the back like a lot of wagons, which is good because then you don't get a post going through the window that you can see. In my opinion, this is the right way to construct these cars if that if you can do it that way. Plus, it kind of makes a little color break back here. It kind of almost looks like you got a license plate or something like that. Real basic tampos, bing, bong, the window pillars, or the pillars. And, I don't know, it's kind of a neat little matchbox. Whatever. You guys let me know. And then we get uh, the Buick La Sabre. New model for possibly 19, well, 1986 is the copyright did on this one. Is this really that old? Probably not. We probably used the same, like, card art for a long time, and that was on there. But we do get, like, the generic, like, printing on the card, which means it, it could be that old. Ooh, well, that crunched. No, oh, we got package rub on this one, too. Did that wipe off? Oh, saved. I'm going to see where it was hitting. Suspension, and the wheels are like... Weird printing here on the top. Looks a little weird. Like ghosted. Doors almost looks like the doors would open on this, but they don't. But I like how they did that though. It looks it, they you can see a like a door gap. That's pretty cool. I, I think this is the only version of this casting I have in my collection. And it's kind of a cool one. <clears throat> You guys have to let me know what you think about this. Number four, Buick Sabre, stock car. I think this is cool. I don't know why, I just think it looks cool. Pretty basic up there, no real detail. Pretty basic in the back as well, but for the era, which is, you know, I guess mid 80s, late 80s. Maybe even early nine. I don't know. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Definitely bigger than 164, I think. Uh, yeah, well, actually, maybe not. 165 scale. Technically smaller than 164. Interesting. I suppose this would be a pretty big car. All right. Uh, we got some Johnny Lightnings, and then we're out. We got three of them. We got this guy right here. Wow, man. Dragsters, one of only 20,000 pieces. Very limited edition, right? Not really. Um, exclusive, drag, exclu exclusive, exclusive dragster photo art. 
series number two. Very cool, I think. Date, 1996. Copyright. Getting good at finally uh, looking at the Johnny Lightning card, back of the card, and finding a copyright date quickly. Wow, man. Why is this car? Is this car the same car? Yeah, it is. Different color. Wild Willie Borsch. Looks like he's got some caveman graphic on there with some sort of spiked club. That's wild. Man, I saw some drag racing. I, I don't know. This isn't really relevant. But I saw some drag racing like uh, thing on Facebook. Some article somebody posted. I don't remember what where the article came from. But crazy that people... Drag, racing in general, like back in the day before like safety was a serious thing. My God, those people were nuts and they had some balls of steel. Wow. Um, specifically what I'm talking about is, <clears throat> you know, having the engine in front of the driver. And there was like a, a picture of a dragster with the guy, a slingshot dragster, where the differential for the rear is sitting in your, your lap. That took some serious cojones. All right, so pretty cool. So drag racing is neat. I, I think it is. I think it is pretty cool. And the graphics on this one look kind of wild. Look kind of neat. And whatever. I'm glad I got it. Not much else to say. We got uh, a GTO, American Beauties. Not only the car. On this one, fellas. Uh, 1965 Pontiac GTO. Lightning Girls. I bet you they would never do that these days. It ain't gonna happen. Um, yeah, Lightning Girls. Uh, when did this come out? Do we need to know? Do, can we find out? RC2 era 2006 this is a copyright date. We got some yellowing plastic. I collect this GTO casting, which is why I picked it up. Is this going to be a poster? I think so. Ooh. Hopefully, it just. Look at that. So, we got a poster. Put that up in your garage, you know, by your toolbox. Kind of old school, right? And, uh,. Nice picture of the GTO. And then we got all the uh, Lightning Girls with their respective vehicle here. This must be all the ones in the series. You got a Super B, Camaro, Chevy Bel Air. Two copies of that GTO. Ooh, the Cobra. It's a nice one. And a Chevy Nova SS. Well, there's that. <clears throat> Johnny Lightning has always done some weird stuff with packaging. It's kind of neat that they haven't done the same thing all the time. And I, I kind of like that, especially the older Johnny Lightning stuff. They did some weird stuff, some weird accessories, like a poster here and there. Those little, like a pog <laughs> or whatever. Limited edition token, I guess. It's plastic. It'd be cool if it was metal. But you can still flip it like a coin. So, all right, GTO. There's a lot of different versions of this casting, uh, variations of it, and uh, I have a ton of them. One of these days, one of these days, I should show my whole GTO Johnny Lightning collection. There's a lot. This one's got a metal base. It's got the rubber tires, details all around. Mr. X. Who's that? Pontiac logo is a little askew. Either that or the keyhole for the uh, trunk is a little askew. One of the two. All in all, though, pretty cool little GTO. Dig it. And then lastly, very cool, Demolition Derby. Some of the coolest Johnny Lightnings in the history of Johnny Lightning are in these little Tomy packages. There's some weird stuff, and they're very basic. 
Some of them have plastic bases. Some of them have plastic tires, plastic bases. There's some really oddball ones and some really neat ones that came in these little short, small card Johnny Lightning. So this is release 25. Um, mm, well, it says copyright 2001 to 2012. I can only assume this probably came out in 2012. Or 13. Oh, got an automatic hood pop open. Cool. And I'm on my last sip of water and I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Winchester Auto. So anyway, these are really neat. This one's plastic base, plastic tires, but it really doesn't matter that it's got plastic tires. I mean, look at them. They look so cool. This is super neat. Ryan Shivers? Chivers? Chivers? Sure. Shivers. I like Shivers. I think it should be Shivers Racing. Born to Derby. This bro was born to Derby. Anyway, I like these. Like I said, there's a lot of weird stuff that comes out in these little short card ones. And anytime I see short card Johnny Lightnings that look cool, I pick them up. Especially, usually they're cheap too. And this was cheap when I picked it up. Yeah, I picked it up, I think, from a Facebook seller is where I got this one. I think it's where I got all three of these, actually. It's from a Facebook seller. And I think it's actually where I got this. And it's where I got this. Yeah, that's it. Just these. Same person. One of those build the box deals and i've been gradually kind of working them into these videos all right that's going to be it thank you guys very much for watching again the highlight for me was always the mini gt stuff or well in this episode it's the mini gt stuff fixing the, the wheel on that bugatti was kind of fun right not really and i don't know just believe it or not might be my favorite of the bunch i'm just deciding that right now you guys let me know what you think. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching another, uh, I guess, lengthy, probably, diecast weekly episode. I had to stop it a bunch of times to cough. You may not uh, realize that, but whatever. We're getting there. We're getting there. Next week should be a good one, too. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching again. Have a great day.